everyone. I hope you're having a fabulous day. So I'm going to be showing you how I do a full face of makeup as a beginner. So I actually started doing makeup like a couple weeks ago. And a few disclaimers before we get started. This isn't a natural makeup look. As I said, it's a full face of makeup, but I think it is fairly easy. I mean, if I could do it with only like a few days of experience in the beginning, and I'm sure you can too. And again, like I said, I'm a beginner. I'm like not a makeup artist or anything. So take my opinion with a grain of salt, but feel free from as like from one beginner to another to follow what I'm doing, follow along or just take some inspiration from what I do. And also I'm using drugstore makeup and I think all of it is cruelty free actually. Yay! And it's fairly cheap. So if you're a beginner as well and you're just starting out, you could find all of these products at your local drugstore. I went to Target and literally picked up all of this for like under a hundred dollars, I'm pretty sure. So it was super cheap. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, before you put any makeup or anything on your face, make sure that your face is washed and moisturized because you do not want to put your makeup on top of oily and like disgusting skin. That's just gonna be horrendous for your skin. So after your face is ready and sun washed and moisturized and full of sunscreen, um, I put on my foundation. Well, not foundation. I actually use BB cream because personally for me, as someone who's like never worn makeup before, I felt like it was a little too much to like cake on a bunch of like foundation onto my face. So I decided to just go with a lightweight concealer. I, I'm sorry, not concealer, BB cream. I'm currently using the Maybelline BB Fresh cream. So the way I do this is I take my BB cream, I just put some onto my finger like that, and then I spread it onto my cheeks first and I just do like little dots or like smear it a little bit okay so after you've done a bunch of little dots I take my beauty blender I'm using the real techniques beauty blender and this is one that I've heard recommended by a lot of beauty gurus on YouTube let me tie my hair back and just a tip that I read online and that I've found very useful as well is to always make sure that your beauty blender is damp before you um, put like, use it like to spread your foundation or your concealer or anything like that. And the reason for that is that when it's damp, so right now I'm just going to start spreading my foundation or BB cream. So when it's damp, it soaks up less product and that um, allows you to obviously get more product onto your face and it wastes less product too so and it also just spreads more easily when it's um damp or you don't want it to be soaking wet but just a little bit damp so as you can see it like covered up mostly anything um that i wanted to cover up and what i what hasn't been covered up i then go and cover up with my concealer so this one is e.l.f. Most of my products are e.l.f. as I mentioned earlier. I hope you can see that. This is the e.l.f. I think hydrating camo concealer with the satin finish. And that's what I use. It's like a lot lighter than my foundation, but that's a good thing. Like it, it does, it's fine if it's lighter than your foundation because you want to like brighten up your under eyes and those like dark spots or red spots on your face. Mine is a lot lighter and it looks like it, it'll it like look horrible and I'll look like a ghost, but I promise it blends in. So I literally just take it and I like dab it onto the areas that are a little too red or that I have like acne or anything like that. So I spread it. Yeah, so that's pretty much all for my base. I just use my BB cream and a concealer and feel free to go ahead and buy a foundation if you are a beginner and you wanna go for that full coverage look if you feel like you need it or you want it, that's totally fine too. So after I do my base, I do my eyebrows. For eyebrows, I use three products. I use a brow pencil, this is just an e.l.f brow pencil i hope that's in focus it's the instant brow lift elf brow pencil it's one of those that you can just 
you know, you don't have to sharpen it or anything. And it comes with a spoolie as well, which is very convenient. And I use concealer. You'll see why in a bit. And I use this Wow Brow gel. And that's also from e.l.f. As you're gonna notice, like literally like 90% of my products are from e.l.f. And I use this little brush that's attached to like this thing. It's like a trio brush. It is very cheap. I got it at Fred Meyer. Um, I use this to apply the concealer. So first of all, I'm going to take the spoolie that's attached to my eye, to my eyebrow brush, and I'm going to brush these inner hairs up. And then going like here, like down, I'm going to brush them down. So then up here and then down here. And then up here, I'm going to brush these up and then down. So I kind of just brush them where the hair naturally wants to go. So I literally just brush them out like that really quickly. And then I take the pencil that's attached and I don't really fill in the middle. Okay, I have to get really close and personal for this. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I don't really fill in this part like the very beginning. I kind of start a little further out and I just do very very light strokes because the inside of your eyebrow is a lot lighter than like the middle and the outside. And then starting from like here onwards I do darker strokes and I don't really outline my eyebrows, I kind of just fill them in like where the shape is naturally except my eyebrows are a little bit more arched than I want them to be so I kind of draw a little curve right here so that it doesn't look as like triangularly <laughs> arched if you catch my vibe yeah so I just do very very light strokes towards the middle and then I'm gonna do the other side and I know it looks messy but that's what the concealer is for later on Okay, so then I take my concealer. I don't like spread it on using the thing. I just like open it up a little bit. That's where this brush comes in. I take a little bit and dab, 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 dab. Literally just take a little bit. And then I use it to clean up the brow. So I go underneath and up here and shape it out however it wants to be shaped out and I cover up these little hairs that I haven't trimmed because I'm growing my eyebrows out. No, I got some in there. It's like, it'll blend out. It's, it's okay if you mess up a little. It's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. So after I apply the concealer, I take my beauty blender again and I, excuse me, I dab it and blend it out. I'm gonna do this with both eyebrows. So that's the brows and lastly to set everything in place I take my eyebrow gel just take some of it and I do again I do the same thing that I did with my spoolie I just brush these initial brows up a little bit and then I brush these to the side and then these I brush down yeah that's how I set my brows and that's now that's completely it for my eyebrows okay the next thing I do after doing my eyebrows is eyeshadow so this is the fun part at least for me I'm currently using this elf eyeshadow palette I liked I chose it because it has like a lot of pink and I like that like pink rosy look when I do my makeup so yeah so to apply my eyeshadow I use this crease brush by e.l.f. as well, as I mentioned, like literally all my products are from e.l.f. And I use this flat eyeshadow brush that's also from e.l.f. Okay, so I pretty much do my eye makeup the same way every single day unless I'm feeling a little bit fancier. But first I go in with this sort of matte shade truffle right here. I go in with this one. That's the wrong brush. I don't use that one to start off. I use a crease brush. 
I use the crease brush to start off. Okay, so I go in with this shade. It's called Truffle, and I just swipe it. You can't even see, sorry, I was blocking you. Okay. I just swipe it into my eyelid crease. And then I do the same thing on the other side with the same truffle shade. So I applied it to like my crease. And after I do that, I go in with this shade, Darling, which is like a tad a bit darker. I take that shade and I apply it to the outer corner of my eyes, like the, the outer half, I mean, like this part right here. Then I'm going to take my flat eyeshadow brush and sort of blend it out a little bit. Okay, so then after I do that, I go in with this cream shade right here. It's like a very light, almost white pink. So I take that cream shade and I apply it to the inner half of my eye where I did not apply that darker tone that I just applied right now. And lastly, I take my crease brush again, and this is my favorite part because I love glitter and shimmery shades. So I go in with this rose gold shade. It's so pretty. As you can see, like it, I've used it so much, it's like it has a dent already in it. Okay, so then I go in with this rose gold shade, and I apply it on top of the white part that I just did there. If you want to start even more simple than this, just take a, like a matte shade, like this one or like that one, and just apply one shade to your eyelid. But some tips for if you want to do like more layering and like more shades and stuff, always start off with like lighter layers, and, sorry not lighter layers, lighter shades and then build it up from there. And then lastly add your shimmer shades. So I think that's pretty good, I'm gonna blend in that shimmery shade a little bit more because it's not super blended in. The last thing I do for my eye makeup is I dip into that rose gold shade again. I take my crease brush and I draw a line on my lower lid, like my lower lash line. I mean. Okay, so the next thing I do is eyeliner and I know this intimidates a lot of people, but it's not as hard as you probably think it is. So I use an e.l.f liner satin eyeliner pencil satin eyeliner pencil and it comes with a little sharpener as well so i think as a beginner pencil is a little bit easier to work with than like liquid eyeliner or anything like that so what i have to do is i start from like where my pupil is like right here and i drag the pencil across like just very light and small strokes just drag the pencil along that line right there and then I feel like my brow bone like which is right here and I bring it up to my brow bone right there and then I bring this tip Okay, so I realized that it, the camera cut off while I was showing how to do eyeliner. So basically what I do is I go in from here, I draw a line, I go to my brow bone, and then you bring the eyeliner in to connect back, you see? And then what I do is I take the same concealer brush and I sort of like swipe it and like smudge it out so that it creates like a fine looking little wing like that. So you draw a line, and then you connect it, and then you fill it in, and it's going to look like a blob, but then you take a brush, and you drag it 
and clean up the little smudges. And I curled my eyelashes, so that's where we are right now. So I was about to apply my mascara. I used the this e.l.f. mascara. Surprise, surprise, e.l.f. So I love e.l.f. so much. They have the cheapest, best products you're gonna find at the drugstore. Okay, then I wait a little bit for it to dry, you know. Boop, ba -doom, ba -doom, do a little, <gasps> I just fell. Do a little <laughs> mess here. Dance. So, after that, after you've applied your mascara and your eyes are fucking popping and you look absolutely gorgeous, you go in with the bronzer. Well, at least that's what I do. So, for bronzer, I'm going to apply it. Sorry, it was like weird hair. With this powder brush, pointed powder brush. It's an elf brush, as always. Look at that, look at that elf powder brush. Okay. And the bronzer I use is a wet and wild bronzer. So, bronzer. I just go underneath. Sometimes it helps to suck in your cheeks like that, just so you know where that like definition should be and I kind of just take it and just do a few swipes and then I do it on my forehead and around my face I think of it as a three motion that's what a lot of people say you go whoop and then that that's a backwards three it's like a it's like a three you know whoop. okay so yeah that's it for br oh no that's not it for bronzer so then i take and i take this fancy brush that i use for a lot of things and i dip it into my bronzer tap it out a little and i try to contour my nose a little bit so i do it on the sides and then like a little u shape right there and then i blend it out a little bit with my beauty blender so that it doesn't look like a line right there. Yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. So next, I go in with my blush and I'm going to use the same powder brush and I use an e.l.f. blush and it's literally just bright pink, that's what it says the shade is. Yeah, that's what I do. And this blush is very, this was like super cheap. It's very, very like powerful and like concentrated. I don't know if that's the right term for it. It's like, like a little goes a long way is what I'm trying to say. So just like a tiny bit, I put on my brush and then I go, I like look at where my cheek is naturally red and I use that as a guideline. And then I bring it to the side a little bit. That's what I do for blush. And then, after I'm done with that on my cheeks, I dip the tip into of my powder brush into the blush, and then I tap my nose. So that I look like a reindeer, because I think it makes me look cute. And I've seen other girls do it, so. And then, we're done with the blush. And the last thing, can you believe it? We're already at the very final step of our little makeup expedition. It's highlighter. This is also, surprise, surprise, an e.l.f. highlighter. This is the shade Moonlight Pearls, which I thought sounded really cute and pretty when I bought it, so that's kind of why I bought it. And this one is like not super, I think opaque is the word when it's like super concentrated, so I kind of have to like put a lot on my brush. So then I just for highlighter, I like highlight like the upper part of my, I think it's my cheekbone, kind of the same place where I did the blush, but like a little bit higher, you know? So yeah, that's how I do my highlighter. And then I also put some on my forehead just to accentuate that a little. Put some here. And I put some on my chin. And then, I use a smaller brush. 
preferably the one that I used for the bronzer, this brush. And I dip it into my highlighter. So I dip it into my highlighter, and then I'm going to highlight my nose. And I do like a line in the center. And then I dip it in again, and I put some over the blush that I applied, because I want that nose to look poppin' and walkin', if you know what I mean. And last but not least, I apply it to my inner eyelids right there. Oh wait, I lied, that's not the last thing I do. Then I apply it on my brow bone. Then, like, we're pretty much done with everything on the face now. And I take my setting spray. I have the e.l.f. mist spray. So this just sets your makeup and makes sure that it lasts. Yo, oh, I got some in my mouth and it tasted gross. Yeah, it's like it gives you a little dewy finish, which I personally like. I like that little dewy finish. For the bomb, I go really simple. Just back to those sixth grade days. I just use an EO slip balm. I think this is like a mango tropical lip balm or something like that. That's literally all I do. So then I last thing I do is I use a lipstick and this this lipstick I'm telling you literally two dollars at Target. Two dollars at Target. Like I'm not joking. And it's a really good lipstick. I have like two lipsticks. Um, I also have this one. It's a L'Oreal lipstick. They're kind of like very similar shades, except this one is like super like shiny, and I, I really just don't like it. I, I stopped using it because I didn't really like it. It's just a L'Oreal lipstick. And I also have another e.l.f. lip gloss. But this lipstick is really good. It's called Seriously Satin. And it's also by e.l.f. That's like a nice little color. It was literally two dollars and trust me, it's it's a steal honestly. It's like such a nice lipstick. It feels really nice on your lips. So just apply. I don't use a lip liner or anything. Cause again, I am a broke gal. So I just apply it straight on. It's like kind of matte, kind of not matte, but if I want it to have more of a glossy look, then I apply this e.l.f. this clear lip gloss that I also bought. It's really nice. That's my entire look. This is how I go out every day, as of a couple weeks ago. And I know it might be a little intimidating to like go straight into like doing a full face of makeup. Especially if you've never like used makeup before and people have never seen you with makeup That's something that I was really scared about. I was like are people gonna judge me and think that I'm like super weird Cuz like I never wore makeup and all of a sudden I'm gonna look like a fucking clown or something But no literally no one gives a fuck like just do whatever you want do whatever floats your boat makes you happy This makes me happy. I go out looking like this like every day. I don't care if people think it's a little extra or too much It's my everyday makeup look Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought or if you want to see more of this sort of thing because this is the first time I do something like this on my channel. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye!